What is up, guys? Cajun here, and we we have a mic, boys. <laughs> I'm oh boy, I'm cringy. Um, in today's version of the community live stream recap, we have FedEx box randomly on my bed, so don't mind that. But again, we are doing the community live stream recap for February 5th 2019 uh, yeah so <laughs> I'm so stupid let's let's just jump into it boys alrighty so in today's community live stream uh, Edwin was a special guest on the stream uh, Edwin's uh, a weapons tester and he makes uh, most of the new weapons in the game uh, which we'll get into two new ones. There's two coming next update apparently uh, that they dropped on us this week. Um, also, rip my hair. I need a haircut. Um, so yeah, let's get into what they said during the stream. So first thing, of course, they reminded everyone that there's five days left for the critical pass. Uh, for probably by the time you're seeing this, um, boys. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Sexy M4 or that MP5 or the Winterfest case or the tier 6 GSR. Rip. Rip. Ah, eh, who cares? Because there's another M4 skin out. That did not sound right. There is another M4 gun skin out. Gotcha. Um, so the Joker Anarchy skin for the M4 has been released. Uh, it is the second influencer skin following the Rogue's Thunderhawk skin, which, of course, was awesome. I really do like this M4. I'm definitely going to buy it. Um, and, yeah, if my phone could work... <laughs> That'd be nice. CFE. You said you did CPU improvements and my phone's not working. I'm going to go on Hope Shift after this and actually uh, try and contact them about it. So, who knows? All right, so jumping into the 1.3 update news. First thing they talked about was practice mode. Uh, so, there's going to be practice mode against bots this update. Excuse me, and uh, why do you actually showcase some of this? It was on brewer, uh, yeah, brewery, and uh, it was easy mode, just like the tutorial. Um, but they said it's going to be online, so you have to log into the app to play. It's going to be solo mode, so you can't team up and jump into um, a practice mode. Um, but they're looking to maybe add an offline option and a play with friends option you know maybe have a contest to see who could kill the most bots and for when you're in the car and you don't have data and you want to play critical ops um, also uh, it's based on T TDM so it's basically the practice mode is going to be TDM uh, and you'll be able to play all the maps that you can for TDM uh, like I said it's going to be sim similar to the tutorial except the only difference is you can buy other weapons rather than just the M4 and it, it is available on every map um, that supports TDM. There's going to be four different difficulties from easy to pro. Um, so that's cool. Um, they're, they're there, there's a time limit, but there's also not a time limit. I didn't think about that before I said it, but you can set the time limit from one minute to infinity. So you could just shit on bots all day long. I mean, hey, if it happens, it happens. Um, also, they can go uh, up to 8v8, so you'll have seven bots, and the enemy team will have eight bots. Um, I... 
I wish it could be just you versus bots, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and there will probably be more customization to come um, in, you know, patches to the game mode, I guess it is. So, you know. The new weapon, the Vector. We already knew about this one. We've been knowing uh, about this one since the 24-hour live stream. And, uh, well... Oh boy, it's it's pretty good. Um, and just a fun fact they talked about during the stream, the way they started with making the Vector is they started with a prototype um, of the MP7. Um, so, like, they looked at the MP7 and said, hey, let's have a gun kind of like this, but at the same time, not like this. That's why I said in my review video of Air Dahlia's uh, gameplay that it really sounded like the MC7 and I would hope that the uh, the reload animation sound would change and hello train um, <laughs> I was hoping that the reload animation sound would change and in fact I was right it was from the MP7 so I just thought that was pretty cool um, they did specify a price that's it's gonna be seventeen hundred dollars can we just talk about that for a second and talk about how OP it is? Since it is basically the MP7, um, it, it's a weirder variant of it, though. Uh, the MP7 is very runny and gunny, but the Vector kind of um, act, acts more like a rifle uh, in a way. It's a powerful mid-range weapon, uh, rather than MP7 being mostly close range most of the time. Uh, so it's powerful at mid-range, which means it'll probably be super powerful close range uh, with a fast fire rate and a pretty decent recoil. So it's basically an assault rifle, but at the same time, it's not. Uh, there are 33 rounds per magazine, and it does well against Kevlar, so that uh, is definitely an advantage. The next thing they talked about was emblems. Uh, they have the new default coalition and breach emblems. Excuse me. Um, there are two new default emblems. And a fun fact that they... <laughs> What's with me and fun facts today? <laughs> um, a fun fact they talked about during the stream... Because uh, someone asked, you know, why they why they changed the name from coalition uh, or from CT to coalition and T to the breach, uh, they said that the name change was to give Critical Ops its own world and its own lore and story and stuff, uh, and they want to build up uh, the story stuff. So uh, we all knew it was part of a story thing, but we didn't really know if they were gonna build some stuff up. Um, but Edwin was like, yeah, we want to, you know. We want to build up the story and the lore behind the conflict and everything, so, uh... Story mode confirmed, maybe? Also, new... Ne Wait. That's not... That's not a knife! That's an axe! That's an axe! No... New knife. Tactical axe. The picture says knife. But that's an. Hello? CFE? Yeah. Y why is this axe called a knife on, on, on the screenshot? No, you can't. You can't just. You can't call it a knife. It's an axe. How big? How big is this axe? It's huge. It's not a knife. A knife. You know, the, the kukri is barely a knife. Like, you couldn't have put a machete or, or, or something resembling a knife? N an axe? Okay. All right. Bye. But yeah, we got a new knife, um, the tactical axe. Uh, there's no new advantage, just a new knife model, uh, so it acts just like the Kukri, just like the default, just like the remix, just like the tack tool, just like the Karambit. And no, you cannot throw it. And I just got a text from somebody, so I'm popular. No, I'm not. Um, but hey, I mean, if you're gonna add stuff like this, can we, like, you made the critical block skin, so can we get like Minecraft swords in here? Like CFE, you need to partner with Mojang and stuff like that. Advertise your game. That'd be perfect for you guys.
anyway um, the next thing they talked about was the new TDM map heat which is the Plaza TDM variant just like we have the um, the Bureau TDM variant and the raid TDM variant um, well I guess I guess raid is the diffuse variant to brewery uh, but anyway um, yeah a uh, new TDM map based on the plaza map uh, and assets and drum roll please they showed us the mini map um, today on stream so here it is it, it, it'll pop up on screen hopefully because uh, I'm using and if this edit is bad I'm sorry I'm using a uh, I'm using my computer to edit this time rather than just kind master so if the editing is bad I'm really sorry and then after that, they talked about the influencer program. Uh, they said within the next couple of weeks, uh, uh, letters or emails should go out saying whether you got accepted or not. Uh, and yeah, if if it goes like it did last time, uh, they'll send the people that didn't make it packages to improve their content. So like, uh, say I were to do face cams on videos or streams, um, they would send me an overlay. Uh, like last time, they sent me a couple of overlays, a couple CT and T models for for like thumbnails and stuff. I never really used them because I, I still don't really make thumbnails that often. Um, but yeah, so um, I just realized I'm p literally putting my hand in the camera. Come on, Cajun. If you want to be an influencer, you got to do better than this. And in the Q&A section, uh, I kind of tried to, uh, you know, dissect some of these um, from what we heard last time. Because last time the Q&A section was very, very long. So I tried to, to, to thin it out and uh, not do as many this time. So... Let, let's see what we got. Question, new diffuse map later? Um, and this was actually a good question, even though we heard it last stream. Uh, but Wadi said, so, or uh, Edwin said someday in the future. And then uh, Wadi confirmed that Nigel will be coming uh, to the next stream um, and will be there to answer map questions and stuff. So that's why I added that question. Somebody asked about Molotovs and later on about like fake grenades, like decoys and stuff like that. Um, and Edwin said that they're always working on like prototypes and ideas um, and, and thoughts on new weapons and utilities. Um, and right now they're trying to maybe work with a new utility. It's not high on the priority list, but they're, they're working on something similar to Molotovs or something new. And... Um, and uh, again, with the fake grenades, you know, they, they, they're thinking and they're brainstorming about this type of thing. Um, who knows if it'll actually come soon, but we, we, you never know. Silenced rifle. This is a weird question. Um, Edwin, uh, you know, said, you know, there's the AUG, uh, but if this guy was talking about a sniper rifle uh, probably not because there's already three snipers and in my opinion the TRG is pretty silenced as it is yeah it makes that little <laughs> that little tiny sound which I mean it, it sounds pretty silenced to me so I think the TRG is is a pretty good silenced sort of uh, sniper rifle someone uh, suggested maybe a scoped pistol and then Edwin and Wadi, uh, you know, were very interested and uh, suggested a scoped MR. That would be OP as hell. Someone asked why the vector is silenced, and um, Edwin said he and the team thought it would give something unique and uh, useful uh, to the SMG class, especially if you're, you know, if you're on a save round. Um, it, it gives you a slight advantage of people like say in the post plant situation where you're hiding and you're waiting for someone to come defuse the bomb and say you accidentally shoot or something no one actually knows where you are technically because they don't see it on the minimap if they're playing with sound you're you're kind of screwed um but it is hard to hear the aug sometimes in the uh, the gsr depend you know like where that noise is coming from so you know, we'll see once it hits the uh, the live version, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it uh it's pretty good. Um, someone asked if a scoped rifle was too OP. 
Um, and Edwin said not necessarily. He said he's. He also said he's tried prototypes uh, with scoped rifles, uh, and it's definitely something he, you know, kind of wants to do maybe in the future. Uh, but it's not a priority for the team right now. Someone asked Edwin what the most OP gun that he had ever made in testing was, and oh my God, this madman made the SG. A shotgun he said I basically made a shotgun out of the SG so it was kind of a super OP rapid fire shotgun so imagine the super 90 but like a million times worse I just thought that was that was death so um, I, I saw this in the chat replay I didn't see the question but there was a mod that answered uh, a, a question about ranked and I'm guessing you know the question was something like is ranked going to be worked or reworked or something and uh oh oh jinxy oh oh said quote we got something for ranked incoming soon twitch sticking tongue out face so again this is just mostly classification that ranked is going to be w reworked um, we saw it from the new ui um we've heard talks about it in the community streams and stuff like that um, so, I mean, it had, there's going to be a rework sooner or later, uh, and, and I'm hoping sooner rather than later. If I can get on and play the game, please, CFV, help. Uh, someone suggested skins for grenades. He said it's a pretty good idea, but at the same time, and this is Edwin saying this, it's a pretty good idea, but at the same time, you can't really see the skin too well because you're holding it and your fingers wrap around it. Rather than the guns, you're holding, like, the bottom of the weapon or, like, um, I'm gonna have to put down the mic for a second, but you're you're holding the weapon like this, so you can still see the side and stuff. But you're holding a grenade like this and a flash like this. You you really can't um, you really can't see the weapon as well as you can say an AK or an M4 or a knife. So it it, it it's a you know it's a good idea. However, it it probably wouldn't work too well. And that was pretty much it for the Q and A session. Again. I kind of skipped a, a couple of questions here and there. Uh, if you want, you could go watch the VOD. It'll be linked in the description below. But the final thing they showed were sneak peeks at four vector skins. And I believe it was um, Patton, um, Duotone, Lotus, and Tentacles. I think it was a tier one, two, three, and four. Um, tentacles looked pretty good. Uh, Patton, uh, looked pretty good it's a war skin I think there's one for the TRG if I'm not mistaken uh, or no, no no it's for the M14 um, and it's just like an army vehicle skin like the star in the circle um, yeah for General Patton um, that's where the name comes from but yeah they look like decent skins other than Duotone which just looks garbage um, <laughs> but um, Lotus, of course, as always, looks freaking amazing. Um, it, uh, like I said, Patton looked pretty good, and I haven't got a really close look at Tentacles yet, but it, it's one of the Tier 4 skins, and it, it looked pretty good. So anyway, that'll wrap up this Community Livestream recap. There's no release date on... Um, or they didn't say release date specifically in the stream, but since the patch update just came out, I think that uh, 1.3 should be coming out sometime late February, early March. Uh, so it should be coming out soon. Um, and yeah, we just got to keep a uh, a lookout for it and uh, see see when it comes out and play with the, play around with the vector. Um, personally, I can't wait. Uh, I'll probably take it into practice mode to be honest first because uh, I don't know I don't know but anyway guys if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and all of Critical Ops's links will be down in the description their YouTube their Twitch their Twitter their Reddit I believe that's everything if I'm forgetting anything Critical Ops I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> but anyway guys I will see you in the next one bye bye